All right, now players in Ghana's healthcare industry are making plans to capitalize uh, financially on the craze for dreadlocks. This has been observed as the new black hair movement in the beauty industry. The movement is anticipated to lead a decline in the patronage of regular salons which cater for permed hair and braised clientele. Lab Affairs' Mona Lisa Frimpong explores the popularity of the Rasta style hairdo as the beauty and fashion industry jumps onto the bandwagon. Dreadlocks are rope-like strands of hair that clump together. It has a deep affiliation with the African and Rastafarian religion and lifestyle. There is a common misconception that dreadlocks are dirty. In reality, they are not dirty at all, says Sadat Suleiman, a loctician in Kumase. Obiba, obi shop for inquiry. It also have its background. Once reggae music was widely accepted in the 1970s, dreadlocks or dreads became a modern fashion statement. Bob Marley popularized the look of dreadlocks when he hit the world stage with his music. Locks have also found its way into many popular professional sportsmen and entertainers. Mavis Worky reveals people now wear dreadlocks more for the style than cultural or religious reasons. Me person me look real African. Until now me have a locks on me. No, actually say say who person who yes African here. I was so be be real African. It was all the chemical. I can be be a. Ha, to say Mister me here do my way. You know now I say locks so 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 no answer. I say yeah now you one way. Until you die now, just say who looks no are you different. This hairstyle is both protective and economic, as it does not cost much to maintain. This is why many want this hairstyle. But starting dreadlocks costs between 200 Ghana cities to 1,200 Ghana cities. We have normal locks, we have micro locks, we have um, sister locks, and then the one that I call, we have expressive sister locks, okay? Each of them comes with um, um, eight price, okay? For the normal arrangement, you should arrange from about 300 cities to 1,000 cities, they are about. The switch from natural, teeny weeny afro or permed hair to locks means occasional clients' visits to the salon. Personally, I'm not that type who has a lot of time to be going to salon every week or like every two weeks to fix my hair. I realize that the chemicals, and whenever I apply chemicals, it makes my hair very thin. Operators of regular hair salons say operations have been affected. Emilia Sapoma's salon is already grappling with high utility tariffs and unstable electricity. Suddenly, new lines of hair care products have been developed for use in lock salons. These products range from shampoos to accessories. Hairstylists working at the lock salons have started creating varieties of artificial locks, including extensions and multicolored synthetic locks. This has indirectly affected Alice Adawe, a retailer of hair relaxers and synthetic hair extensions. To catch up with the trend and sustain their businesses, regular hairdressers are undergoing training to become dreadlocks professionals. It is a whole banana, so I'm going to make a lot of money.
So I'm going to be a ha. Now back up. To reduce unemployment, Worky Dreadlocks is ready to train the youth to perfect their lock craft. People having this discriminatory perception that folks with dreadlocks are uneducated and dangerous is slowly waning off, thankfully. Now there's no greater peace than you being your true natural self. So please, rock your dreadlocks, my dear, because we are in season. For Joy News, Mona Lisa from Pond, Kumasi.